Hi, I'm Joe Cochran with Northline Express, and today I'm going to show you how to install an extended roof bracket in your chimney installation. Now, you need the extended roof bracket whenever your chimney passes more than five feet above your roof line, and this is going to give your chimney stack stability um, in high winds or anything like that. So, the kit itself comes with a band. This part wraps around the chimney and will attach the legs to the chimney itself. You've got four legs which are going to slide into each other to give you that extended bar and these are adjustable and we'll show you how to adjust those on the roof. You've got two brackets that mount down to the roof and then will attach to your, uh, your uh, poles there. It comes with all the hardware to attach everything. Um, You've got six shorter nuts and bolts, three longer nuts and bolts. We'll show you where each of those goes. You do have to provide your own nails or screws to mount your brackets to the roof. We're using a one inch stainless steel wood screw to uh, secure those down. And the tools you're going to need are some silicone. That's what you're going to use to seal up uh, the holes when you drive the screws in through the roof a level to make sure that your stack is level when you mount everything up, tape measure, flathead screwdriver for the longer screws. You'll need a quarter inch drill bit because once you get the length of the poles set, you'll actually need to drill through to set that position and then put your screw through there. You'll need um, either a, a wrench or an adjustable wrench like we've got here just to tighten everything up and a drill with a Phillips head end on it as well as to use for your drill bit. So let's go ahead and get up on the roof and we'll start the installation. Okay so we're up on the roof and you can see our chimney stack is a bit wobbly and again anytime you're further than five feet up the roof this is when you're going to need this uh, roof bracket. So the first thing we're going to do is attach the bracket that um, will attach the posts to the chimney itself. We're going to get up just above our seam and so we're going to need this bracket as well as some of our screws and we put them in this handy box so we didn't have to lose them up here. Now, if you didn't have your chimney cap on, you could probably assemble this down below and attach it, but since we've got the cap on and it's already up kind of high, we went ahead and just did it this way. There's enough slack in there for you to do that. And we won't tighten this right down yet because I want to see where those posts are going to end up coming off of our bracket here. But that's as simple as that is. These are adjustable, so they'll adjust to whatever angle you want the brackets at. And so that's our first step. Next, we're gonna go ahead and assemble the posts and start to attach them to our bracket here so we can start to understand where the brackets need to be mounted on the roof itself. Okay, so for this step, we're going to use two of the shorter bolts and just go ahead and slide them through. Remember, everything's just loose fit right now, just kind of getting it set up so we can see where this is all going to end up on the roof itself so we can mount those roof brackets. Okay, so we've got the posts mounted to the bracket, and now we just want to get an idea of where we want everything laid out. Now, the goal is to get the angle off of the pipe at about 60 degree angles from the pipe through your poles, and that's just to give you a nice footprint on the post and uh, on the pipe itself. So we're going to kind of eyeball that, get that close, and then we're going to mark our positions for 
our roof bracket next and start to figure that out. Okay, so we're getting the bracket aligned here and we can see that our pipe is gonna, our, our post is just gonna mount to the bracket that way. This is where we're gonna drill four of these one inch stainless steel screws into our bracket here to hold it down to the roof. Now remember we had to supply these ourselves and um, as we start to dry, drive these down, we're gonna go ahead and seal it with some silicone as well, and then we'll silicone the top to keep any water out. Here we go. Again, we're using the short nut and bolt down here to attach this and again we're just kind of hand tightening it for now okay so we've got our quarter inch drill bit we're gonna go ahead and there's two pieces on here to use I like to use the the deeper one if it's possible we've got a lot of overlap here keep in mind that these bars should overlap at least three inches before you drill through them and we've got plenty of overlap here. So we're gonna go ahead and hold it in place and just drill through. Okay, so now that we've got all of our bolts in, we can go ahead and start tightening everything up and just finish up uh, the last touches here to get the installation finished. Okay, so we've got the roof bracket installed. You can see how much more stable our stack is. There's no movement in it at all. And that's what we want. We don't want this thing blowing around in the wind or anything like that. Now, if you had to adjust anything, I can see right now through tightening everything up and moving things, I've got a little bit of a crack in my seal here that I put on yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-silicone my storm collar. And I just wanna make sure while I'm up here that everything looks sealed up and tightened up before I finish the installation. Other than that, we're all set here. Hope you found this helpful and we'll see you in some other videos.